What's cracking, Thrill Billies? Back here on Live the Thrill. Dude, it's been a while. It's been a little cold, as you can see. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Freaking Mother Nature. I swear, Mom, you better stop it. You better freaking stop it. But we're not talking about the weather today, even though that has been a little bit of a issue why I haven't been posting truck videos. We're doing one right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is my bourbon. This is the... Are you freaking serious? That's Kyle, but he just hung up. This is my bourbon, it's a little dirty. Apologize, because my driveway looks, you know, like that. Not, oh, oh, so he hung up on me and he's gonna call you. <laughs> you son of a bitch! What the deal is today? Uh, this is the deal. Pretty much already murdered out, but there's a couple things that I was telling you on the last video on why I wanted to murder the whole thing out. Because if you come over here to the front, a couple issues that I had is, well, this is an old ass rough country light bar. One of the first ones they ever come out with. And it's got that chrome look. I don't like chrome. Uh-uh. So, and this wiring harness and everything like that has been tripping out like crazy lately. So I just ordered a whole new bar, blacked out edition. So that's gonna be completely black. And then this grill right here, all that chrome, everything else we blacked out the logo and stuff like that, that needs to go as well. Which what I'm gonna do is probably just sand that down a little bit, give it a little spray, a little satin black. And uh, I think we'll do just fine on that. And then I did order some new freaking gloss black shackles. Cause you know, these are super important. I don't think these um, increase horsepower at all, but they definitely increase testosterone, right? Agreed, 100%. Dude, they freaking wired this shit up underneath your cowl and we have to take your wipers and your cowl off. Shut up, we can't, no way. Uh-huh. Dude, they just replaced that wiper. It's probably their fault, dude. Uh-huh. 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 All right, here is the light bar. So this is the Rough Country Black Series. Yeah, it's a 54 inch curved dual row. So it's the same thing as that, except it's black and it's newer. That one, I think we got that put on in 2000 and... Uh-huh! Uh-uh! One eternity later. 13? But hopefully uh, all we're after to do is we can just use the same mounts that are up there and then just put the new one in. The wiring harness is the only thing that I'm kind of worried about because I think it's shorting out somewhere. So we'll just kind of see what we can do first. I think I'm being an idiot. Yeah, I am. You didn't tell me that that side's open already. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of these type of light bars. To be honest, like I'm, I'm really not. The light bars that you put over the windshield, in my opinion, especially if you have a white vehicle, is not a great idea because it reflects off the hood a lot. Even if you aim it up a lot, it's still gonna reflect off the hood. Basically bounces it back into you. In my opinion, the best thing that you can do is putting it on your bumper, putting a 20 inch or something like that. Now on the dirty max on ghost i've got the 20 inch light bar and then i've got two cubes on each side that gives me better light than my two 50 inch light bars on top just a little forewarning if you guys are ever wanting to get a light bar and stuff i would suggest doing your bumper before doing that that's kind of a look thing and i'm admitting that it's pretty much for looks but i still use it because i don't have any other light bars on this besides the sides but if you guys are looking for an awesome light bar in which i have plans to put one on the k20 kc makes new light bars that are not an led bar like this they're like legit spots and i think they have like 10 to 12 different lights and stuff like that they're a little bit more expensive than these but well i mean this is only like 300 bucks and the KCs are probably over a thousand dollars, but definitely worth it. And I'm pretty sure they have a lifetime warranty on theirs, just like uh, Rigid does. And now you guys will see what I'm talking about. Hold on. Do you need some assistance, sir? No. Are you sure? Nah. -uh. Now you guys will see on why the black is a lot sexier than the chrome. Black is better than chrome. Look at that. Black is always bigger and better. Take that however you want. Ah! You guys know the hardest thing to find in your garage is a 10 millimeter. I swear they just need to make 10 millimeters in like a package and just have, so you can just have 20 laying around and you'll still lose all of them. All right, so the grill's off. Uh, it's too much of a pain to pull this freaking chrome out. You gotta pop like each one of these little things off. So what we'll do is wash this crap off and then get some like, I don't know, 1500 grit sandpaper or something and sand her down and then I've got some black satin stuff. We'll, we'll tape everything off that's black already and then just paint the rest. Or how about no grill? This is kind of black. 
What do y'all think? So it's a different wiring kit with this new one. This one was just spliced in. So we'll just clip this like he's gonna do right now. These rusty old dikes. We'll take this whole thing out and just run a new one to the battery. But it seems like the new kit's pretty simple. It's just plug and play and then you just run it over there. Don't strip it. Whoa, there we go. Grab your new one and let's put this on. Out with the old, in with the new. Tell us in the comments, does that look level? Uh-huh. Or uh-uh. That looks so much better. Love it. Just love it. Well, we're not gonna be able to fit this guy in a hole. I just have to run it straight down through there. Pretty simple harness, a lot easier than they used to be for shizzle. The biggest thing about these new ones is they're just a lot thicker, so it's harder to get in the actual Got panel. Weather weatherproofing too. Yeah. Better proof of the weather. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Drinking a little yee-yee energy. We wake up, crack a cold one, get dressed, and start the day. Well, it's about 6 p.m. right now, so I guess we're starting the day now. Philip, where are you? Where are you, Philip? Oh, I found Philip. You guys always gotta have a friend named Philip. All right, now I need a, uh, probably a Eight. eight. No, we gotta take them off. But we're gonna take it off of here, so we have to do. Yeah, that guy's an eight. No, that's a ten. No, that's an eight, man. No, it might be a nine. All right, it might be a ten, dude. <laughs> Whatever. What the fuck was that? A washer. Son of a bitch. Black to red, red to black. Remember that. Uh huh. Where's Philip? <laughs> Got him. That's all good. Now it's just the switch going to the inside, which I think it might be the same connector. I don't know. You see it at all? Uh, not yet. Pull a little bit. Yep, you got it. Ooh. Squedgy. Hee <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't hurt me. All right, let's check the new placement of the button. All right, we mounted the button right there. I like that, it's a good spot. Good, yeah. It's kind of nice with a light bar, it goes really fast if you already have the uh, mounts there. All right, so they haven't come yet. They're supposed to come today, but we had all this snow, so everything kind of got delayed, but we got those gloss black shackles. That'll help with murder in the sun, dick out, yeah, man, and everything will be black. These are actually extra white ones from the Dirty Max. The white looks good on the Dirty Max, but this one's gotta be all black, baby. Mac in black. Now, these are actually, these are Anzo lights, the taillights and the headlights, and they're the blacked out or shadow version or whatever they call them. But I think they make new ones now where they're like, a more tinted housing. So I'm gonna look into that too, and that'll give it a better look for sure for the third brake light and the tail lights and everything like that. But these definitely don't look bad now. So we got some Rust-Oleum satin. It's the only thing I had. I've had this for years. I still remember because I painted a uh, air duct in my house in Kentucky. That's what I'll use. But we're gonna go through this thing like a, with a fine toothed comb, sand every area, give it a good squirt mount again, and then sprayer. Well, show me down. Then we can hang them with a clothes hanger. Spray them. <laughs> Ow! Son of a bitch, quit hurting yourself. You guys just eating snow and sticks? Hey, don't eat that. That's gross, Lulu. See how her incisions are doing. Yeah, she got spayed. And you can see, it's healing pretty good. Is it healing good? It's a good girl. Now Banjo's not gonna hump her anymore. Or maybe he will. All right, what's up? Next day. Finally got the shackles in. Just got them, so we're gonna throw them on, open that some bitch real quick. Oh shit, my toe. All right, these are from Rhino USA. Heavy duty shackle set. These are three quarter inch D-rings. All right, just what I wanted. Black gloss, baby. Shut the, shut. Freaking dogs barking planes. I can't even freaking make a vision nowadays. All right, you guys remember I took them off, so now it's time to put the black ones on. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's getting murdered, boy. We about to murder it. Oh. 
the chrome has got to go. Okay, got the chrome laid out there. So what I did is sanded it down, add some like 1500 grit sandpaper, it wasn't really doing much. So then what I got was some red scotch bright pads and then just went over that. Went down on it pretty good. And now I've just got to wash these off because there's some dust on them. I'm gonna wash them off really quick. I'm gonna probably do that in the shower, which sounds weird, but that's the only way that these big sun bitches can fit. <laughs> and then I'll give it a nice coat. Let's do it. Well, I was gonna just spray it with black paint, but I decided I should be smart and go get some self-etching primer or something like that. Cause well, I don't wanna screw it up too bad. <laughs> Look who's back too, in the hall, oh, cameraman. <laughs> that some dick is uh, back. We're going snowboarding in the morning, so want to get this done. It's late night, so we're gonna finish this up in the morning. But we want to get a few coats of primer on before you know. Go to bed. There we go. There's a uh, first coat. I'll come back. I got about half a can left. I'll do another coat in a little bit and then uh might give it one coat of black tonight before bedtime and uh should look, this is actually kind of a cool color man it's like an army green i think brella oh my gosh <laughs> i'm not used to freaking camera <laughs> i'm not used to you bam there she blows ladies and gentlemen so that was three coats of primer that was the whole can looks pretty cool actually it's like an army green i freaking dig that do you dig it cameraman i like it you like it you like it so now we're gonna go with this rust-oleum satin um we're gonna do two three coats of this and then uh usually you know after this you could like water sand it and or water sand it wet sand <laughs> it and do like a, a little scuffing to it so that's stick a little bit better but we're gonna do a couple coats of this and then i've got a clear coat as well so i think it should be all right i'm just hoping that yeah see there's like a little bit of chrome you can still see in there but i don't think we'll have a problem once you go black you never go back <clears throat> We'll scratch. All right. So there's the first coat. We'll do one or two more coats. I got half a can of this and another half inside. And then uh, we'll let her sit overnight and then give it her clear coat in the morning. Uh. Damn. All right. We're going to do the final coat of the night. I think it's looking pretty good right now. You can look down there. It's looking all right, all right, yeah. All right, we're gonna do the last coat and then uh, do a clear coat in the morning and then we'll put the grill back together and put it freaking on, baby. And mind you, you're not really supposed to spray in these conditions. It's probably what, 35 in the garage right now? Yeah. 30, well, maybe not, maybe 40. It's cold. It's it's like probably like 10, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> probably. But yeah, you're supposed to spray between like a certain temperature, like over 50 degrees, but whatever. Good, come on. Come on. It's like never over 50 degrees here. <laughs> shake it, boy. Shake it, baby. Shake it. Don't laugh at my thongs. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember one time we were in Florida. <laughs> you remember that? I think I do. <laughs> we were at my grandma's house. I got my sandals on the ground like that. Yeah, it is cold. And, she, and I come back in the door, or I go outside, and she goes, You left your thongs on the floor. And I was like, <laughs> What, grandma? What did you say? And she's like, Your thongs. I was like, My thongs. Oh, my sandals. My sandals, Grandma. <laughs> I was like, Grandma, nobody calls them thongs anymore. <laughs> Do you remember whenever I had those uh, those frayed, it was like frayed on the sides, and yeah. she's like, oh, we'll go to the store and we'll go get you some new sandals. And I'm like, no, Grandma, it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, uh, freaking Grandma's, you gotta oh, love them. Dude. Oh, shit, dude. What? I wasn't recording. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just like all the time. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Who in the comments thinks that cameraman should come back and work for me? He's out of college soon. What do you guys think? If this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, he has to. So do it. Damn. You gotta freaking do it. Man. Smash that like button. Right, right, cameraman? Yeah, yeah. All those thumbs will just bury me. I don't know.
That sounds sexual. Yeah, that's weird. All right, boys. Next day, I painted the black last night. Three coats. Check this out. I think it is looking delicious, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it looks freaking good, boy. Turned out a lot better than I expected. It's been drying for about 15, 20 hours. I'm gonna throw a clear coat on real quick, and then uh, we should be good. We'll let that dry. That stuff dries really quick, so within the next hour or so, we'll put the bumper back together and get her on. Ladies and gentlemen, and that right there is the finished product, the black grill, finally. So it worked out well, just doing it myself. Didn't do the greatest job. This freaking, <laughs> this whole grill, like the plastic that surrounds it and all the inserts and everything are like broken as hell. So hopefully this thing will even stay together. But let's pop this sumbitch back on and give a good look around. She freaking blows. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's done. Oh, yeah. That is so much freaking better. Holy dick. Obviously, the truck is dirty as shit right now, and uh, the sun's a little bit freaking weird, but, uh, well, I think I need to watch this son of a bitch and then give you guys a final look. It's murdered, baby. You know, it's funny. These, these headlights, these Anzo headlights I used to have, they used to be like a tinted housing but now it's like it's lost all of them. I polished them like, I don't know, probably a year ago. And it seems like they're not like that anymore. So maybe we'll have to go do that as well. If you guys think that we need to murder the whole gosh dang thing out with the headlights and everything too, let me know in the comments because it might be time for some new headlights anyways. But a little rundown on everything we did real quick. We replaced the old light bar. That was like the first edition silver, had all the chrome and everything on it. We replaced that with a new blacked out 54 inch curved light bar and then i don't even dude is this so much even in focus what the dick it's cold out here the camera's not liking me and then we replaced the old shackles with some new gloss black ones yeah baby and then of course we painted the freaking grill all that chrome is now blacked out of course if you guys didn't see before we took the wrap off the bourbon so now it's blacked out to the freaking max i guess the only thing else that needs to be blacked out is the freaking headlights and taillights because they've lo lost their tint a little bit tint i said tint not you know all right mother trip excuse me <clears throat> thrill billies <laughs> i think that's gonna do it for today hey man hope you guys enjoyed that we murdered out the freaking suburban you guys let me know about the headlights and taillights I'm sorry, it's cold, man. I can't barely talk. I'll be looking for some here on Amazon tonight. Also, I want to give you guys an update on the, um... We'll talk about that in a minute. I mean, the shit sleds, dude. They're just freaking sitting here in the garage, man. I'm too gosh dang busy, man. They were fun for like a week. And then now I've got too much crap to do, dude. It's like, could I just give these away to somebody out here? What do you guys think? I mean, I can't really give these away and then ship them to somebody because it's on a trailer and crap. But I mean, do you guys think I should just give them away to somebody? Let me know in the comments. Love y'all. Live to thrill. See you next time. Maybe for an update on a special project. <laughs> Q, Billy, to the top.